We are ready. Action. Oh, sorry. Action. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, are you shooting this? Oh my God. Paper, rock, scissors. Okay, I go first. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Hi, my name is Macy Kimpland, and I am an ASU film student. My name is Pete Magine, and I'm an ASU film student. My name is Maya de Mayednia. My name is Jesus Torres. Hi, my name is Sydney. My name is Brandon, and I'm an ASU film student. My name is Andrea McCracken. Hi, I'm Alex Blumentritt. I graduated from the Film and Media Production Program here at ASU. <laughs> <laughs> I got into film after being in the cameras for quite some time, I was always in the video. I want to be a director. Action. That's the end game for me. I've always liked film, but my parents were always like, yeah, film is not a degree you should get, like most parents. And so I started as a business major. I just was so obsessed with Star Wars as a child. I just knew that like whatever it is, I want to make stuff like that. And the fact that it was like a gut feeling, right? It's sort of like, this little voice inside you that is sort of like, dude, you like movies, like, go for it. Because there are so many film assignments, there are so many opportunities to work with other people on films. People who are older than you, uh, upperclassmen, are always looking for people to work on their sets so you can, if you're proactive, you can work on, like, pretty, like, good film sets early on. Since we're all on the same level as peers and we're all going through the same things together, I think you learn through experience with groups of people. The way that it's formatted, the way that you go through this program, you, you cannot work alone. I'm a transfer student, so this was my first semester here. But what I really enjoyed was I didn't really expect this like closeness and this friendship in this huge university. Here at ASU, there are so many faculty and professors that work here that just want you to succeed. Yeah. They want you to make the best film possible and their office doors are always open. The uh, internship I worked on was a very amazing opportunity that the film school here gave by basically allowing the, the production of a feature film made by and for the students. I went to the FilmSpark camp in Santa Monica this last summer and we had a different like industry professional teach us. Again, it built me a network that you might not get at other schools. So ASU has so much stuff to do here. Mm -hmm. There's literally always something going on. For us, we have the ASU Film Association. We have Hollywood and Bates Tempe, which are organizations that sort of serve as like a point for all of us students to come together yeah. and like meet each other. I feel like at ASU, it's so cheesy, but you can literally do anything. There's a club for everything, even if it's not a film club. There's the Film Association. You can literally join anything. I spent a lot of times in the editing lab, so I basically lived there without paying rent. So that's awesome. And that's really awesome. Like, I didn't know when I applied here that we have 24-7 open editing lab. Like, that's, that blowed my mind. We have access to pretty much all the film gear you could think you would need for a student film. Uh, accessible Monday through Friday, and it's free. If you don't already know this, film equipment is really f***ing expensive. <laughs>like looking back I I do appreciate the fact that you know I, I I had the opportunity to work on set I did get a lot of experience with actually what I do for a living now right mm -hmm. which is like documentary for my internship I'm a sports editor and ASU actually got me connected with it they'll send out different emails with different opportunities for internships this school has prepared me. It gives you all these opportunities, but at the same time, you need to be pushing yourself mm -hmm. and finding work um, or finding stuff to do outside, using what you learn in school and bringing that knowledge into your own career. Hey, my name is Kyle Stino. I graduated in spring 2015, and I am a post-production assistant on how to get away with murder from ABC Studios. Hi, my name is Jared Mercer, class of 2008. 
Today I'm an assistant director on NCIS, and my credits include Westworld, Star Trek, and Glee. Like that's, that's you have to be kind of crazy to want to be doing this. There you go. You have yeah. to have you have to have that bit of crazy in you to want to subject yourself to this torture that is making movies. Mm -hmm. I feel like ASU is doing a lot to help like me move forward in my like, life and career in film. I feel since I've been here, I have grown exponentially. Um, you know, with not just technical aspects, but creative aspects. You have to look for the opportunities, and uh, I, I learned a lot about how to look for the right people here at ASU. I think the biggest thing I can say, no matter who you are, just get involved and, and, um, and start asking around, hey, do you need help? And that's how you learn. You just learn through experience. That's what it comes down to. I just spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> Spacey Mason. Yeah, no.